Knowing when to add digital products to your business can be a game changer. There are a few signs that you should look out for, and we're going to get into that in today's video. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. I am Keisha Andrea, your favorite brand and content strategist. And today I want to talk about something that will probably help you with adding another stream of income into your business. Taking that step to creating those digital products. There's a few signs that you should look out for to let you know if it's time to accept Expand your business into digital products. So we're going to touch on those and hopefully it will help you to crank out those digital products for your business. First things first, you're going to know this if you are spending too much time in your business. And I know that it's something that has to be done, especially if you're building this from the ground up, you don't have anybody to help you with this, you're doing it all yourself, you're going to have to put the time in, there's no way around that. But if you're trading too much of your time for money, or you've outgrown one on one services, you have a e commerce business, and that's taking up a lot of your time. At that point, all you're doing is exchanging your hours for dollars. And that's one way you can know if it's time to switch up and it's time for you to start incorporating some digital products, adding that to the offers that you provide. Anything can cause burnout, but if you find yourself at a point where you're working a lot and you're still not meeting your income goals, you need to go ahead and create some digital products, friend. When you're at that point of trading your time for money, it can limit your earning potential. Add Adding to your offers digital products like courses, ebooks, creating templates, creating guides, all of that can help you to scale your business without it always needing to be hands on. If you feel like you're repeating yourself a lot, you're answering the same questions all the time, you're giving people the same advice, or you're in a position where you're teaching the same steps to multiple clients, you can easily take that process process and turn all of that knowledge into something like a workshop, a course. That way you can still give them those steps, give them that advice. You don't have to physically be present. They can still get what they need, record yourself giving this advice put it into a course, it frees up some time for you and they still get what they need. One of the most obvious ways that you'll know that it's time to start creating digital products is if people are asking for it. <laughs> if people are simply inboxing you, emailing you, or you always find people asking you how to do something, that's most definitely a sign that you should start creating digital products. If your current clients and the people that you work with, your followers, on social media, if they continue to ask you for resources or tutorials for how to do something, or you feel like you need to create this quick little easy to follow guide, why not just create a digital product that will be available for anyone who has that similar problem so they can take care of their need while you in return take care of your need and free yourself from answering these same questions all the time. Digital products allow you to expand your reach beyond your immediate circle and the people that know you from high school, know you from your job, know you in your city. If you've been feeling like you want to expand your reach beyond that, or you've been feeling limited where you stay, you want to open up more opportunities for yourself, or maybe those one-on-ones that you offer, they feel limited limited, that there's more people out there beyond the people that's in your city that you can help with this specific issue. That's a sign that you need to widen your audience and offer digital products beyond your current network. When you do that, you never know who you can impact around the country, around the globe without you physically having to be there, without you needing to hire a whole bunch of people to help 
help you with that. That's a big sign that you should go ahead and create digital products as well. If you have a certain thing down packed in your business, you do it for yourself and you flow through it. Every single time you do a certain thing in your business, you refer to that process or that framework. That's a big sign that you should create a digital product from it. If it's working for you, it's going to work for somebody else going through the same thing as you as well. The good thing about our experiences and coming here in this lifetime is that a lot of the things that we're experiencing, we're not experiencing it alone. So you have to keep that in mind. If it's helping you out, it's going to help somebody else out as well. This is what got me to the point of getting out of my head and starting to offer digital products as I'm growing my business. I wouldn't say that I have it all together right now, but there is things as I'm incorporating more organization and function and structure into my business. I realize that this can help other business owners too. And that's a lot of what you see when you come and look at the content and the offers that I have in my business. A lot of the things that I offer is things that I use for myself. If you have a specific process that has been successful for you, you have a certain system or a template that you use, make that template available to the public or package what you know into a course, a guide, an ebook of some sort, or maybe even some kind of toolkit of all the things that they'll need so you can create some passive income for yourself. Start to think about some of the things that is getting you results that feel successful successful for you and replicate that for somebody else to use. If you're a service-based business owner and you're relying on that one service to bring in income for you, that can be very risky. Number one, you can't be in more than one place at a time in real life. So digital products can help you to diversify your revenue stream and give you a little bit more financial stability, especially during those slow times. Most service-based businesses would probably say that they would consider a certain season to be a slow season. What do you have to make up on the financial side when business is slow for that specific offering? And I talked a little bit more about this in another video. If you want help with recession proofing your business right now and taking some action to create some digital product, check out the description for a free guide that's going to help you to recession proof your business. Most of of us want flexibility and free up some of our time and at the same time give an option for people who need our help to do things on their own pace. For those of us with high ticket services already and luxury services that aren't necessarily a need, we don't want to give more than we have to lower our prices. So you want things to be affordable. And this goes back to diversifying your offering, making sure your business is recession proof and that you can serve every type of customer for every budget. Creating digital products gives the people who may not have it in their budget to afford a specific service that you have, especially if it's high ticket. And the great thing about digital products is it's so convenient. I wouldn't necessarily say that it's a passive income. I'm learning that as I'm starting to create courses. You have to get the courses out there so people can actually know about them. So when you think about creating content, you can see it's not really as passive as what people make it seem like, but it does give you that convenience to be able to sell whatever you have to offer any and everywhere. You could be on vacation somewhere and so somebody can buy a digital product from you. You can be working another job and somebody can be buying a digital product from you. At least with digital products, you can create that one time. There isn't much updates that you'll have to do to that. And anybody from anywhere can get that digital product. And the last point, you know that you're ready to start selling digital products if you're ready to create content. Digital products are not going to sell themselves. You are going to have to do a little bit of work and get the digital 
your products out to your network and people on their interwebs. And that's going to take you promoting your business, getting more awareness and visibility to your brand. Some people, they don't want to mess with content creation and I don't blame you. But for those of us who have goals and we say, you know what? I can do this. I can set aside a couple of hours a week so I can create this content. If you're ready for that, that's a sign that you should start creating digital products and promoting those digital products when you create your content. If any of this resonated with you, then it's an overall sign. It's time for you to consider adding digital products to your offering as a natural extension of the offerings that you already have. So let me know down below if you have some thoughts on creating digital products and if there's anything that you're struggling with. If this video was helpful, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss more on helping you to build wealth with your gift and doing it in a sustainable way so you don't sacrifice your well-being. The content I share from this channel is going to revolve around that. Every week you're going to get a video helping you to build this brand and be seen, felt, heard, and paid by your people online. As always, I thank you for tuning in and I'll see y'all in the next video. Happy creating. Peace.